So I just went ahead and added some more shapes around this hand waving. Just looks like kind of some fun stuff happening. Not too keen on it, but um, we'll just leave it for now. So the next piece, just because this arrow thing is bothering me so much, I'm just going to change the color so that it can kind of match the rest of the color scheme here. So the, the where, where I got the arrow from was there's tons of free um, icon kits for Adobe XD. So I had one that is a material design icon kit. And so what I'm going to do is go to recent. And then someone had created these material icons from Google in here. And there's just tons of different icons that you can use. So the one that I picked was, I think it was one of these arrow ones here. So I'm just gonna, was it one of these? Is that what it was? Go back and see, I think it was that arrow. So what I can do is just copy this. I'm gonna come back and recreate it in here. Um, but these arrows are already animated and everything. Um, I animated them in After Effects, which is also a cool thing you can do with Adobe XD is export stuff to animate into After Effects. But since I've already done that, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate this. So I want to have a circle again, and I'm probably going to just do the fill of this and then take that out. And then what I want to do is put this in as white, although I'm pretty sure it would look probably pretty good bring it to the top if it were a navy color. So I could probably do that too if I wanted. Go ahead and align these. Group them and then make it smaller. Like fit right there. So that's pretty good. Let's delete that. And then let's align these. Although, yeah, I might change might change the arrow color too. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know about that white. I had some of those shapes as white too, but it just didn't look right kind of fits in a little bit better with the color scheme and then maybe I'll make and so I don't know if I can change the text fields in storyline too much but maybe I'll make this one more rounded that would probably look pretty good if it was in I don't know if I can do that though but we'll see um we'll just try this for now so you can see I'm pretty much done with the design so now I want to talk a little bit about I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other one the other version too with the circle but I want to talk a little bit also about what I will wind up doing in Storyline versus in here. So there's some things that obviously if I export them out of here and then add them in Storyline, it's not going to work really well like this text um, field area. So what I'm going to do is I will wind up exporting probably this, this whole piece here, but I won't export the create a username or the button, or actually just probably like this little area. Let me ungroup these. So I won't export this, or this, or this, and, or these. Actually, I probably won't export any of this. So all this I won't export. What I'll probably just be exporting um, as a image into Storyline is this rectangle because I don't really want to recreate it in Storyline. It's not going to, it's not the best tool for actually designing um, some assets like this. And so what I'll do is export just this, this modal here, this pop-up, and then um, this piece here to be using, and then I'll recreate all of these. But let's go ahead and, and duplicate this because what I want to do is I want to create another one so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate and this is going to be where we enter the email and I can go ahead and delete that because I'm not using it so let's see here and let's say ooh, what did we say before we said enter your email so one them to enter their email and then what we'll do is we'll switch these so I'm going to copy this out there let's move it behind that copy this put that there and delete that send this to the back 
takes forever there. I should have just sent all the way to the back. And then we will want to change the enter to submit because we are submitting it then finally instead of just entering it. So I'll probably just change that to submit so they know that. So if we see this and then this, I mean you can there's you can kind of tell that it's changing to a different field. So what I might want to try out here is just prototyping it to see what that's going to look like. So obviously I'm not going to prototype the piece of like entering the email that we can just pretend that's already in there. So I'm going to be in prototype mode here. So you can see I went over to the prototype tab. So when the person selects enter, I'm going to have this screen come in here. Um, so I'm just going to have it come to the screen. You can press wherever. We're not going to do it on drag. We're going to do it on tap. Do we want a transition? Um, probably not. I would say probably not. But we can always just try it and see what happens. And push. Maybe, let's just try a slide up. Let's do maybe a little less. And then ease in out. We'll just try that. So let's go ahead and press play. So let's pretend we already entered something in there. Press enter. And there is the new email screen. So the animation didn't really add anything to it. Um, and it's not really necessary for what we're doing because we're not really making anything from a, from a standpoint of like web development after this. And what I'll probably do is have um, this one fly in in the beginning in Storyline. And then I'll just have this field slide in to indicate after you've hit enter that this is going to change. So let's see. What should we do next? Let's go ahead and change some of this. So one of the things I didn't try on this either is um, the auto animate. I haven't tried that yet. So we can see what the heck that does. No idea. I'll click enter. Oh, okay. I see. All right. So that's kind of cool. Just changed automatically. Um, I haven't really gotten into auto animate. It's a newer feature in Adobe XD, so I'll probably try that another time. But in the prototype mode, you can get really crazy with animations now and, and trying new things and even overlaying. So something we may even want to do with a sign-in like this is have this sign-in overlaid on top of like a um, welcome screen or something like that. And then um, it's just kind of modal that's over there and then it will disappear and let you back into the screen. But I'm going to not do that for now. So we can see what the interaction would look like. What's really going to bring it to life in Storyline is really going to be those animations. And then the other piece that I talked about that we wanted to do was if someone entered in the wrong email, what would we ask them to do? So if they hit submit and the email is not a valid email, what should we do? So we're, what we might want to do is add some kind of indicator somewhere that the email is not correct. So what we could do is let's think about where we might put that. And that's something you might want to think about ahead of time when you're doing your sketching. So let's go ahead and duplicate this screen again. It's got three screens so far. And we probably will have at least two slides in Storyline and then a layer for the indicating if the email's wrong. So um, also when you're designing, you want to plan for like what's your Storyline file going to look like. So this one will probably be one slide. This one will be a slide, and then this one that has the actual just no, uh, notification that you need to enter a valid email will be a layer on top. So this will also help you think about that. So let's say, um, enter a valid email, or please enter a valid email, and then where would we want to put this? So it might be nice to put this below it, but that means we're going to have to move these buttons. So imagine that you've already created this and you've forgotten about this 
in Storyline, you forgot to put this notification, you're going to have to end up restructuring everything. So this is why it's good to think about your design before you go in and develop it because you, this would already be planned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these buttons down so that this can be below that. So there's enough space. And it may look a little bit funky being so far from everything else, but this will make sense for this. And then I want to have it aligned with the other text there. And then I want to have it have some space. Maybe we make it a little bit smaller, even though it is important text. Just wanted to make sure it's there. And then change the color of it to be something something else. That does not look good. Or just something different about it. Maybe move it up more. I don't want to do like red because that's going to look ridiculous. No, it doesn't look like that ridiculous, but. Yeah, sometimes you just have to play around with these things until you can get them to look how you want. So let's think about this. If we go back over here, if we move this. Oh gosh, okay. It's a little crazy. But I mean, it really does catch your eye, right? Um, oh, maybe. You know what? That might actually be a good idea. See this color in this hand here? I don't know if it's accessible is the thing. Maybe even this blue. I mean, blue doesn't say like warning, you need to like fill this thing in. I just don't want to add a bunch of random colors to something, you know? Uh, maybe we should just go with red. Let's just do red because it, it's important. We want people to know it's important. So. Another thing you may want to make sure of is that um, the colors work for everyone too. So, I mean that red it's really stands out. Um, I don't really necessarily like this from like a design perspective, but we'll just deal with it. And then I kind of want these text fields to the to the border to be a little more or bigger maybe three two three gives it more of a modern feel there all right so i think we're pretty good to go on this so what we're going to do next is export this this uh, actual modal to be used in storyline and then we can go ahead and create this in storyline itself Okay, so real quick before I go into development, I just did kind of another um, edition of this one over here. I changed the um, sizing of this modal here, this, uh, this screen, and then I just added this big plain waving hand up here. I don't really know which one I like the best. I'm not, I don't really like either of them too much. I think I, I kind of want the visual up here to be different, but I like this format more. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show before I go into development is you can copy appearances of things on here. So I've got this little circle here that I changed and if I do a copy and then I go down here and I want to change this one, I can say paste appearance and then that will change to that as well. So just go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm going to go into um, my development mode. So what I'm going to do is for this, I'm going to use this as reference throughout my storyline development. What I'll do is I'll hide some of these things and I just want to kind of copy um, this screen here, this part, and then I'll reshow all of these, I'll unhide them, and I'll be using the colors over here and then also um, just referring to the different things like what 
what they look like and different things like that when I'm building everything in Storyline. So I'm going to go ahead and hide some of these things. What I'll do is I'll just group them all together. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that and then unselect and then I'm going to group this. And then I'll go ahead and hide this group. And what I want to do is just group all of this together. And I'm going to export this group. So I can click this little um, mark for batch export. I can do it that way or I can right click and export selected. There's a few other ways you can do it too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the web. And I want to have it at two times. And because I've got um, some shadows and things on there, I'm probably going to do PNG. So I will go ahead and just say sign in form. And then that's going to export to the folder. And if I go back to that folder and go into it, you'll see them there. So if you can see. And I may adjust the size based on different things, but we'll leave that for now. That looks pretty good. And if I want, I can come back in and show that. I'll go ahead and save. So now I will actually go into development. So I'm going to go ahead and start Storyline.